Fred here on the Rage again, and today we're gonna be doing a little bit of an experiment. So let's head over to the table and check out what we got. All right, so what we're gonna do for our little experiment today, we're gonna compare a high-powered pellet rifle. This is the Ruger Airhawk Elite 2, chambered in 177 caliber. This thing is so cool and I love it. And we're gonna compare that to some low-powered 22 out of our Henry mini boat here. I have not shot this thing in a little while, but what I mean by low-powered 22s are these. We have some Aguila Super Calibris here, some CCI CB shorts, and some CCI normal 22 shorts. And as you can see here, we have two of each target. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna shoot one with the pellet rifle and one with the 22 to compare them together and see which one does more damage. And then at the very end, for our fourth and final target, we're gonna choose our favorite out of these three rounds and compare them with our grand finale target with the pellet gun. I am very excited to try out this little experiment here. So let's get loaded up and get to shooting. All right, we got the pellet gun out first with some 177 caliber. I was about to say grain for a second because that's <laughs> what I'm used to. But we got the piranha style, which should just go chomp, 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 chomp through the orange we have set up over there. I mean, it's a piranha, so it just like chomp, chomp. That's that's my bite. Wait, why does it look like a like a salmon mouth? Like, yeah. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna kneel down for this one. Ready? Ready. Oh, that did no damage at all. Did it go through it? I don't know. Okay, so we got a hit there and a hit there. That did nothing. Wait. Yep, that's some fresh orange juice. Oh, that's so good. I bet. It's dribbly, but it's good. <laughs> All right, we got that other orange set up, and we had the Aguila Super Calibri loaded up. And this thing, this gun, was actually my first gun I, I ever had. So I very much like it. Also, I went through a phase where I covered everything in stickers. Yep. And this was a victim of that. Yeah, I'm doing a video. But I peeled everything off. But, all right, ready? Ready. Same exact damage. Why did everything roll off the table? Because it's, it's a ball, that's why. All right, entrance and exit. I think that actually did less. <gasps> Maybe a little less damage even, yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All right, so I just want to compare these real quick and like show you close up the damage. So I think the pellet gun actually did a little bit more because we got an entrance and an exit. Why you roll? And then a huge, two pretty good sized cracks. But with the 22, is it just in and out and no, like there's minor cracks there. I want to drink it so bad. But all right, time for the grape fruit. This is a grape fruit, and at the store, it said red grapefruit. Does this look red to you? I mean, it's tinted red, but the other one is yellow. It's yellow. It looks like a giant lemon, pretty much. But, okay, let's blast it. All right, we have that red grapefruit set up over there. And we got another pellet loaded up. Pop. All right. Safety. Ready? Ready. Right, get a little bit low there, but still. Still a good hit. Yeah. Oh. He's bleeding out. Leaking pretty good. Wait, Daddy. Blit. Blit. <laughs> Wait, I want to draw eyes on it, and he's like, Blit. <laughs> he's puking. All right. Oh, we got some good crack that he kind of looks like a butt. It looks like a cat butt. I mean, <laughs> why? 
we have the, the actually, real quick, I just want to say something. This grapefruit is not r red. I was about to say it's not yellow, but it's not red. It is the opposite of red. I know technically the opposite of red is green, but yellow makes green, okay? <laughs> this thing is not red, does it? I mean, unless you're colorblind, that does not look red. I think they might be talking about what's inside is red. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, but the skin is not red. <laughs> and I'm complaining about that. Walmart, change your label to yellow grapefruit, please. <laughs> it annoys me. But, all right. Oh, he fell out. We got the CCI CB shorts loaded up. This thing's cool because it's like a bolt action, and then you got to, like, poof, cock it like that. It's cool, and I like it. And it's tiny. This is probably the smallest rifle I have. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Ready? Ready. Get a little bit to the right there. Ha! Oh, we got some cracks at the entry this time. Yeah. A little bit more. A little bit. Okay. I see the red. I see the red. That's pink, but still. Okay. This actually did a little bit more damage because instead of just in and out, it actually like big cracks in it wait that's gonna be sour that's gross all right so here's our another little comparison here this was the pellet gun one the puking one and just in and straight out to the cat butt and then we have the 22 which in with a little bit of a rip and then out which made some more cracks in it which I definitely think the 22 did more this time. Definitely. Instead of the pellet gun doing more, the 20 gun. The 20 gun. What's a 20 gun? <laughs> what? <laughs> a 22 did more. But not much. Not much, no. But it did make more cracks in it. All right, time for the apple. All right, now for our final, not our final target, our second to last target. We have a granny apple set up over there. Let's see what this does. I'm actually going to be surprised to what this does. Yeah. All right. Ready? Ready. I hit kind of low there. I confess. But, yeah, I think we might have to reshoot it more okay. up because I kind of barely that bottom. It. Yeah. I will be right back. All right. Still got the pellet gun out. I'm going to try and aim a little bit higher this time to try and not hit the bottom. But... I love just like, just slamming it closed like yeah. that. All right. This safety's weird. It's kind of like a grand safety. It's inside the trigger guard, yeah. which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> Although I have forgotten it like three times. <laughs> All right, ready? Ready. Okay, like half an inch bit higher. That'll work though. Yeah, at least it hit the entire apple. Okay. I can see through it. I see the camera. Okay, that's cool. But we got an entrance and an exit right there. Still not much, but it kind of like collided with the other shot. But 22 time. That's something new. 22 time. I'm making new things up every day. All right, we got another apple set up over there. And we have another, or not another. We have a CCI 22 short, not the CB short. It's different. Also, these are hollow points. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference at low, at such vo low velocity. I can't speak it today. But, all right. Also, you may be seeing that I'm holding this weird. I'm going to try shooting it uh, left-handed. Cool. Which is probably going to be impossible for me. Because I can never hit anything to begin with. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. I can't even aim. What the heck? Okay. So awkward. Literally putting my cheek on the back of the stock trying to aim. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> All right. Ready? Ready. Holy cow. For a 22, that actually did a lot. Oh, now it's going to be all sticky. Huh. Where did it hit? Okay. Entrance and very big exit. We know the winner of this round. Oh, yeah. 22. We got to compare it, though. To all see. Right. I mean, we obvious winner, but still. <laughs> I'm sitting down because I'm all formal right meow. Right meow. Oh, uh, whatever. 
But, all right, so here is the Pelican apple, and we got a little skim on the bottom, and then entrance and exit. It didn't do much, but when we can... I thought I saw a seed. But when we compare it to the 22, we got entrance and massive exit. I mean, I don't even know, like, where its trail was, to be honest. It hit the stem on the... It just peed on me. Uh... I, I feel like for our grand finale, I swear, apples are so sticky, but uh, for our grand finale shot, I want to do like the middle performer, so I'm going to do the CCI CB short, because obviously, like the normal short is way more than the Calibri or whatever, that was the pallet gun, but Calibri, wait, no, that was the, whatever, but I feel like, yeah, I want to do the middle performer, which is the CB short. Just because this one's way more powerful to begin with. So, we're going with the CB short for the grand finale. Alright, so for our second to last target, I know I said that we would only have four targets and this would be the last one. But, we have something even better at the very end of the video, so please stay tuned for that. But, for our second to last target here... We actually went to Walmart and grabbed some on clearance ugly Christmas sweater decorate your own cookies and some ugly Christmas socks. This is Grinch Sock. That is his name, Grinch Sock. This is Grinch Sock and this one is Spider Flake because it kind of looks like a snowflake. Or I mean a spider web. But it's Spider Flake. Alright, but we actually have some extra decorating stuff from our little decorating experiments this morning. We're having two experiments in one day. <laughs> but I got some sprinkles here, and I got some sparkles here. Oh, sprinkles and sparkles. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. But, oh, it's even more festive. I know it's like very old. All right, now, I just dumped a whole bag, okay. Very abstract and very sparkly. Hold on. Perfect. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the pellet gun for the sweaters and then V22 for the socks. And this is gonna be cool because I wanna see how far it goes through and if we catch it. Yeah. Also, yes, that is a wooden pumpkin that we're using to prop those up with. <laughs> All right, ready? Ready. Too much. No. So we went through one, two, three, four, five, five. It's stuck in the cookie. It is stuck in the cookie. Okay, so we went through four and stopped in the fifth. Ha! Huh? One pulled out. Yeah, it was barely in there. I just got pooped in the face with cookie dust. Alright, oh, look at that. It caught some of the frosting and stuff. Wipe it right off. Now I can reuse it. I'm just kidding. I would not put this back in the <laughs> gun. It is all dirty. That is so cool. You know what? Well, that just broke. Um, What we're going to do, we're going to do the 22. And then we're going to include all of these in the grand finale shot. You may be, you may be thinking what I'm thinking. But... I'll show you. Just in case you're not thinking what I'm thinking, I'm going to show you. <laughs> Just in case. I don't even know where I was going with that. But we got the Grinch Sock and all of his sock army set up over there. And we got the CB short loaded up. This is about middle range for what we just shot. Yeah. All right. Ready? Ready. Forgot to cock it. <laughs> Just like the safety, yeah. I forgot to cock it. Also, r s something about safeties. Pretty much the safety of this gun is cocking it. There's an extra added safety right there yeah. for no reason. But all right, ready? Ready. Okay. All right, oh, it didn't pop out. Okay, so one, broken, two, two, three, Four, five, six, 
Seven, I hit it right in the heel. That's like the most vulnerable spot of your foot. Am I wearing Crocs with socks? Yes, I am. Also, I am flexible. But I lost count. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. We've got three left. And I think there was like 16. Yeah, 16 total. Okay. So we went through 13. Yep. Okay. Uh -huh. Is the bullet there? Yeah, I found the bullet. <laughs> Cool. You know what? I could have kept that um, pellet and we could have melted them down to make buckshot. Totally. It would have been the perfect amount to make one buckshot. Yeah. Yeah. We already have like a, a lot of lead already in there. But all right. Now to make my masterpiece of a final target. All right. So for our grand finale here, our actual grand finale, where it is not m mysteriously adding another target. No, we're not doing that this time. Um... We piled up every single target that we shot. Also, you may see a random sock right here. This is actually my favorite sock other than Grinch sock, which got obliterated. This one fell off of the pan, and I just found it. So uh, there was actually only 15 socks there instead of 16. So we actually had four left instead of three. But all right, we have, um, what should this na sock's name be? Swirly. Oh, wait. We have Swirly with all the fruits, and then his brethren, and then his enemies, which are the sweaters. And I just want to say something real quick. This apple, it's been like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. It's already brown. Gross brown. Like, it's like, yeah, rotten brown kind of color. And it's gross, and I want to destroy it. So, yeah. All right. I'm actually very excited to make, like, a sugar cookie and fruit salad here. So... Let's blast it. We have the beautiful JTS AK-12 gauge. This thing is my favorite shotgun that we have, 12 gauge shotgun. My Pop 20 gauge is up there too. But this thing is amazing and I love it so much. And we are loaded up with some Winchester Elite Defenders. And these things are actually super cool because they have three buckshots and a slug inside of them. And they're very cool, they're all black. And they're very cool, and I am excited to destroy, what did I do? Oh, Swirly. Swirly and his friends and foes. Yeah. And the fruits. Yeah. But, all right. I'm going to actually kneel down for this one. Okay. Yeah. This will, like, knock me back. <laughs> all right. Ready? Look at like a squat deal. Could yeah. Be. Ready? Ready. Swirly, I barely hit it. All right, all right, that's. See, I don't want to lay this on the table, so I'm gonna set it right here. Stay. I found Swirly. I chopped off his toe. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that stinks for him. But did I even hit you? Okay, so I didn't really hit the grapefruits, but I did hit the orange. Yeah. Oh, no, it's festive. That's kind of pretty. I would eat that if it wasn't covered in dirt and stuff. Roll. Goodbye. <laughs> There's sweaters that survived. I will. Let's check the rest of the stuff out, and I'll be right back for them. Okay. Where did everything go? I don't know. Oh, here's the pumpkin that we had everything propped up on. Where is it? Probably hit right there. Looks where, like it. Where'd the slug hit? I I think it was right there because there's no other badly damaged spots. I think right there. Wow. Yeah. Well, there are still some sweaters that I'm kind of annoyed that survived. So I am going to go grab something. Okay. So all these sweaters that are still alive, I saw one with a bullet hole, but all these sweaters that are still alive, or still have pieces, I'm actually going to make a crispy delicacy. This smelly thing, she's actually never eaten this, and she never will, because I'm not actually going to feed this to her. So, I have my cookies stacked up there, and I have my Sog Sog Fari 18-inch machete. This thing is so much fun. 
I don't know why people trust me with 18 inch machetes when there is food around. I don't know. But, all right. We're not, I'm just going to just shred this. Shred it. You may see that I have a bowl and a cup of water here. You'll see why. Okay, ready? Ready. Sorry, creepy. The chopping's scaring her. Just chopped up Grinch stuff. Okay. Okay, I'm done. I'm done now. And I'm gonna collect all oh, that chunk just fell out. I'm gonna collect all these little chunks or attempt to. Not you. Not you. That's a piece of pomegranate. Or not palm. Grapefruit. Alright. Now I'm gonna magically pull the spoon out of this cup. Try to crunch it up some more, okay? Now you got Christmas cookie cereal. Here, try some. No. Nah. I made this for you. <laughs> That was actually a lot of fun. It was super cool, go like comparing them together. And it seems that a CCI CB short is about the same, like damage wise, to a 177 pellet gun. That was a lot of fun. Especially at the very end, when we blew everything up. Well, I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this video, just like we had a lot of fun making it. So, thanks for watching. I'm Zombie.